Hey, what is going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So today we have a tutorial on creating sort of a stroke logo reveal. And this is what we'll be creating in this tutorial. And you know, it's pretty simple, but I think it's a great concept because I know like a lot of you guys requested it's like how to do the sort of stroke effect where you can take like a logo and do an outline on it. And then we can reveal in our uh, full logo. And I was playing around with the color here and like I changed the stroke to black there just to kind of add a little bit more dim dimension to this effect. So anyway, I'll go ahead and show you guys how you can do this. So what we'll do is we'll have our new composition here is we'll drag in our logo, which is a uh, PNG file. Um, and basically a lot of your logos will probably be, you know, a PNG or some sort of JPEG. Just make sure that you don't have the background, uh, you know, on your logo. Just make sure you just have your logo on a transparent sort of background like a PNG. However, if you do have, say, like a vector file, like a Illustrator file, kind of like this, um, and you can kind of skip ahead here, but what you could do is right click your logo here and you can create shapes from vector layer. So right click layer and then you have this all in the shape layer, which will save you a tremendous amount of time. But I'm going to assume that a lot of people do not have, you know, vector files of the logo or something. So I'm going to assume that you guys have PNG. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure our PNG layer is selected and we're going to go up to layer and we're gonna go ahead and click on auto trace. And what we need to be aware of is the channel, which this needs to be set to alpha, and the tolerance, which I have set at three, um, but you don't really wanna to go too low or things can get a little jagged. Um, and I think a good number is usually between two to four. So two, three, or four should be fine. So I'll go ahead and set it to three. You might have to experiment with it, but uh, once you're done here, uh, just click okay. And as you can see, we ha kind of have a outline of our logo on a white solid. And this is exactly what we need. Now, typically what you would do is go up to effect, you know, uh, generate stroke. But I'm not going to do that because you don't have a lot of control over that. You have a lot more control if you can put this into a shape layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up the mask here for our traced layer. And under mask one, open that up. And then I'm going to go to the mask path. And I'm going to go ahead and just copy this, okay? And I'll close off the keyframe there. Then I'm going to go to layer, new, shape layer. And we'll go ahead and open up this and go to add. And we'll go ahead and add a path. And we'll open up path one. And we'll just paste in our mask. And as you see, we kind of have a mask here. We'll go ahead and hide our trace layer. And then what I'm going to do is go to add and click on stroke. And if we open up the stroke, say set the stroke width to like five or something, maybe we'll do 10. As you can see, we kind of have the uh, path of our uh, logo here. And then if you want to do a little something extra, maybe we can also copy, like if you have any like extra sort of outlines in your logo, like I had my eye here, I just have to basically just copy the path, go back up to add and add another path. And I can just paste that right into there. And now I have my eye into uh, my shape layer here. So. Now what we can do, since we have the, you know, the outline of our logo and our shape layer here, is I can go to add and click on trim paths. And let me go ahead and put that uh, underneath our stroke. And you know, if I click here, I can see I can start to you know, animate this outline and it looks pretty cool. So uh, you know, instead of just doing like from like, you know, from 100% to 0%, I wanted, wanted this to be a little bit cool. So I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna show you guys kind of how you, we can add, make this a little bit interesting. So what I'll do is I'll set the start to 100% and we'll go ahead and we'll keyframe the start and the offset here. And we'll move forward to like say one second and we'll set the start to 0% and you see it just comes on like that. And we'll go ahead and you know maybe increase the offset to like maybe you know 100 degrees or something. So as this comes on, it'll kind of like rotate. And then what I'll do to kind of like close up this animation is I'll keyframe the end here and we'll move forward in time to like, you know, one second, 11 frames, and we'll set this to 0%. So now, uh, basically this will kind of come on and then it'll kind of just close up towards the end. And what I'll do is for the offset, I'll kind of just move, make sure that keyframe kind of touches the our end keyframe here. So it'll kind of always animate. And then when I'm done here, I'm gonna go ahead and select all of my keyframes here and hit F9 on my keyboard for easy as keyframes. So things will kind of just smooth out um, at towards the beginning and the end of our animation. and Let's go ahead and go ahead and hit S on our keyboard uh, to bring up scale for our shape layer, make sure it's selected and we can just scale this down by a little bit. And what I'll do is I'll take both our offset keyframes here. I'll select both of them and I'll right click them and click keyframe assistance and time reverse keyframes. So now things will kind of just uh, go in the same motion. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on our logo layer 
And I'm gonna hit S on the keyboard to bring up the scale. And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just like put this, um, you know, kind of try to match this up to where it should be for our shape layer. And that should be fine for now, or actually it should be good uh, in total. And as you can see, uh, we kind of just ruined everything. So what we're gonna do, so hit T on our keyboard to bring up the opacity. And we'll hit U on our keyboard to bring up all the keyframes on our shape layer one here. And let's see, we want our uh, logo to be revealed on like right here, 100%. So we'll do, let's click a uh, keyframe for uh, opacity. And we'll move forward in time a little bit and we'll set the opacity to 0%. So now we have our full stroke and then our logo kind of just reveals on, kind of like that. Maybe we need to scale this down just by like maybe to like 68% or something, maybe 69%. Yeah, that should be, that's good. So now our logo kind of just comes on and things look really good. And then, uh, to, you know, to add just a little bit more interesting animation to this, um, maybe you can play with the colors a little bit. You know, I don't know if it worked for me, but maybe it can work for you. What I would do is I would go to the uh, stroke here and I'll click the keyframe for color. And then, you know, towards the, go to like the end keyframe here and set the color to black and make both of these keyframes easy as keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard. And this thing will kind of just transition the, the black, you know, towards the, you know, end there so looks pretty cool i think and after a quick render this is what we have and pretty much what i showed you guys at the beginning so if you guys have any questions please drop a comment down below and be sure to hit me up on my social media networks those links in the description of this video and if you guys are new to the channel please subscribe for more after effects videos just like this and if you guys enjoyed the video please drop a like because it helps me out tremendously and as always guys thank you so much for watching this video and i hope you have a good day